Hey everyone, welcome back to 30 Days of Autism Acceptance 2020. The prompts were made by Audie Jake on Tumblr. As always, a link to his blog will be in the description. I am sorry that I missed yesterday. I had a pretty rough meltdown for most of the day. Um, what's new with the pandemic? Um, so I'm just going to include yesterday's prompt in today's video as well because I am a perfectionist who needs to complete everything properly. So yesterday's prompt for April 17th was, have you ever experienced ableism before? If so, how did it feel and how did you handle it? Yes, I have. Um, obviously there's the too high functioning to be autistic thing when I was a kid that counts, um, can't really say um, how I felt or handled it, because I was a kid who had no clue what was going on, but it definitely had an impact on how my life went. Um, a better, easier to discuss example would be autism moms and anti-vaxxers. And of course, when I say autism moms, I'm, or autism parents, I do not mean parents who are actually accepting and supportive and helpful for their children, but rather the kind of people that are like involved with, say, Autism Speaks and um, very often very much overlapping with the anti-vaxxers, um, like the people who like forge their entire identity around it, share horrible videos of their children having meltdowns and traumatic experiences and acting like they're so hard done by like autism is this thing that is like specifically out to ruin their lives and they deserve a pat on the back for raising their child that they brought into the world like supportive parents and the autism parents not the same thing so if I'm just want to get that out of the way because um yeah generally in the actually autistic group when community when we are talking about autism moms we're talking about the people who very much do overlap with the anti-vaxxers like vaccines cause autism autism is horrible ruining everyone's lives thing those people that is who i'm talking about so um yeah um a couple years ago i made the mistake of uh trying to talk sense into some anti-vaxxer autism moms, um, yeah, that didn't go well for me. Um, it was extremely invalidating. Um, got told that I am too high functioning to understand real autism because I can talk and use a computer. Not sure how they figured out I can talk. I apparently using a computer is the same thing. Um, no, um, like, I don't really consider myself fully verbal, I consider myself semi-verbal because I do very much have periods where I am very much non-verbal or only semi-verbal, so, um, yeah, um, Most of my communication, I very much rely on scripting or like if I feel like I am going to be semi-verbal or non-verbal, I just avoid people so that that doesn't become an issue and just text. Um, yeah, it, my non-verbal and semi-verbal episodes are frequent enough that I consider myself more semi-verbal than fully verbal, basically. Um, but no, apparently I'm too high functioning to understand real autism, whatever that is supposed to mean. Um, because I was typing at them. I do not understand those people, but yeah, um, basically, not fun, extremely invalidating. Functioning labels are garbage and do not explain anything ex except for these people putting us into a box of controllable and can't control them so discount everything they have to say because they are not enabling this 
narrative that they want to believe. Um, like, by their logic, I am too high functioning for to, to deserve any sort of support and acceptance. But realistically, I am not high functioning enough to properly ever fit in with neurotypicals unless I am lucky enough to be around people who are willing to be understanding and accepting of my individual needs. Which, okay, by their logic, there's just no place for me to fit in in the world. Um, yeah, this was two years ago. I am still very much clearly bitter. Maybe it's the sleep deprivation. I did not sleep at all last night. I'm running on like four hours of sleep between 11.30 and 3.30 today. Uh, doing great. Mm. So, um, if I am not making much sense, I am sorry, that is probably why. Um, anyways, moving on from that big mess, I'm not even 100% sure what I was saying. So we're just gonna breeze past that and hope that it made some sense. Um, ableism sucks. Don't be a jerk. If you were talking to someone who was autistic, do not call them high functioning or low functioning or anything like that. Just be accepting and understanding of their needs. And don't try to say that you know more about what they're living with than they do. It's just garbage. Um, so prompt for April 18th, which is today, I guess. Um, yes. Um, Discuss how you felt when you first learned you were autistic versus how you feel now. Um, compared to right now, at least I somewhat understand what's going on with my brain. Other than that, pretty much the exact same. Um, in general, discounting the past month of pandemic, uh, screwing up my routine and by extension, my entire mental state. Um, before this happened, I was doing much, much better and feeling great. Um, now, before I got the diagnosis, um, when I first got the diagnosis, um, now before I got the diagnosis, um, absolutely terrible. Um, genuinely believed I was going crazy. Very bad anxiety. Very bad depression. Got diagnosis. Bit of understanding. Finally, a chance to start healing. Moving on with my life. Um start getting better and get proper um healthy coping mechanisms um which for three years i was doing and i was doing great um until pandemic happened obviously but i'm pretty sure that's the case for everyone uh really screwed everyone up right now um so yeah, discounting the pandemic and in terms of a month ago versus when I first learned I was autistic, major improvement. Um, hopefully I can get back to that soon because <laughs> this is not fun. I did not miss not being able to eat or sleep due to anxiety. I would love to get back to that. <laughs> yeah. Um, now as in a month ago, really, really great compared to when I first learned I was autistic and I would love to get back to that soon. I would really love to get back to that soon. Um, right now, I just want to sleep. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, uh, I can't really think of um, anything else I would say. Um, well, yeah, um, no, getting the autism diagnosis, though, that really helped. That basically handed me a restart on my life. So when I say that doing better and feeling a lot better um, it really helped it made everything much much better and things are gonna get better again soon gotta believe that yeah no, I'm kind of been in the worst mental state I've been in since before I got the diagnosis um this is not normal for me these days within the last three years um so, um, unfortunately, this is almost what the normal was. I do have a head start on them, though. I do have the knowledge, so. 
once I can start sleeping properly again, I think I'll be able to, yeah, hopefully get back there. Um, once the pandemic ends, I think I'll be able to get back to the mental state a lot faster than I did the first time around, um, just because I already have the knowledge and experience. This moved on to a completely different topic. I am sorry. Um, sleep deprivation. Haven't slept. I've gotten like four hours of sleep in the last, um, I don't know, since about, I woke up at 10 a.m. yesterday, the 17th. I have slept for maybe four hours since then. And when I say I slept for four hours since then, I mean I woke up like an hour and 15 minutes ago. Um, yeah. So, very rambly, very incoherent. I apologize. Um, I guess the gist of it is ableism sucks, don't do it. And, um, generally speaking, not including pandemic problems, I feel a lot better than I did when I first found out I was autistic. Because, um, mental health improvements since then on account of being able to get the answers of being autistic. Uh, I think that sums it up. Thank you for watching. I am sorry that this was not the most coherent thing ever. Hopefully it made sense and was helpful in some way. Um, beyond me being able to vent and get some feelings out. Um, and, uh, Yeah, thank you for watching. Sorry again about the incoherencies. I I just said that tonight. I, uh, I am hopefully going to actually sleep tonight. And I will see you again for tomorrow's video, which will hopefully be a little more coherent than this. I feel like I've been saying that a lot. I am sorry. Thanks. Bye.